Was I lying, Doctor? Doctor, was I lying about Doctor Jose Delgado with the bull? Bulldog, you said bulldog, trying to confuse us. Was it a bull or a bulldog? CIA doctor, Doctor Delgado. Yeah, are you gonna answer the question? Tell us, we'll hear from you about what your view is about these bulldogs. But it's a bull, a bull, a raging doctor, bull. What about Dr. Natarajan's diagnosis and his plan? Well, it's not paranoia if they are after you, you know? Them? It's not paranoia if they are after you, know? Are you familiar okay, with, but, uh, are you but, familiar uh, with the secret society Justin Trudeau is in, the Order of Jacques Cartier? No, you have to speak a bit slower. Are you familiar with Justin Trudeau's secret society, the Order of Cartier? You know, Cartier Diamonds, that kind of stuff? The Power Corporation? Dr. Natarajan, that's a question for you. Are you familiar with Mr. Trudeau's society? I'm not aware of Justin Trudeau's secret society or the Order of Cartier, so I will not be able to comment on that. I'm sorry, Joseph. Are you familiar with Dr. Wilson's family name that was in the Skull and Bones Yale Secret Society? I will not be able to comment on that as well because I do not know. So help you God, so help you Vishnu, whatever you believe in. Right? I know exactly what experiment you guys are running. It's called Jerusalem Syndrome. Like Dr. Lazar. Yes. Jeru you've heard of it, right? You've heard of it, right? You've heard of Jerusalem Syndrome? Yes, yes. We repeat a yes. Hello? Sorry, Joseph, can you repeat that again, please? Are you familiar with the Jerusalem Syndrome experiment in Israel? The Jewish one experiment? Jerusalem Syndrome. You, Jerusalem you said you were familiar, now you're changing your mind. I'm not aware of the Jerusalem Syndrome experiment. I'm sorry. I'm not aware you're a psychiatrist. You're not familiar with MK Ultra or Jerusalem Syndrome. Are you familiar with Dr. Mengele from over... You're speaking too fast. I want to slow you down. Okay, are you, are you familiar with Dr. Mengele in World War II? Dr. Mengele? Joseph Mengele? Yes, I have heard that name. Uh, he was a Nazi doctor who conducted experiments uh -huh, uh -huh. on Jewish prisoners. I'm, I, I, Twins. I Twins, right? But I do not want to discuss that today. Well, are you running any experiments on us uh, psychiatric patients? Is there any experiments no, you run? Psychological, no, Pavlov's dogs? No, I'm not. He answered, he answered your question, Mr. Jukic. Please pass to the next question. So you're not familiar with Madeleine McCann? Are you familiar? I am familiar with Madeleine McCann, but I do not want to discuss that case today. Okay, you don't want to discuss it. We'll discuss something else. What would you like to discuss? Uh, Mr. Jokic, I don't have to don't answer that question. Why? Mr. Jokic, we'll hear from you. Tell us why you think you don't meet the criteria for certification. Why well, I don't need it? I do better on why? niacin and vitamin C and good and healthy food. Dr. Abram Hoffer's treatment. Are you familiar with Dr. Abram Hoffer, okay. orthomolecular treatment? Because it's just a really... Can I just go through the criteria under Section 22 of the Act and ask you whether you agree or disagree that this describes you? I'm just going to read it to you, and I need your answer. Number one, does the person or patient have a disorder of the mind that requires treatment and seriously impairs the person's ability to react appropriately to the person's environment or to associate with others? Does that describe you at all? I think I'm an asset to the community, not a, uh, a public enemy that you try to paint me out as. No, but do you have a disorder of the mind? No, Nelly Furtado and Angela Jolie wanted me to satanically investigate the Illuminati when they made that Tomb Raider movie. Tomb Raider, are you familiar with that movie? Uh, yeah. I, I'm not sure I understand what you're saying. 
you're saying, but if you don't think you you're skeptical, you're you are you're, you're doubting Thomas is skeptical, playing devil's advocate, but my page has all the prophecies fulfilled, you know. We fought a second world war after Dr. Lazar's people, you know. And the Jews own the fucking uh the Jews run Hollywood just like they run the psychiatric industry, the hospital industry. There's a monopoly. Like the Federal Reserve or the Bank of Canada. It's written in the Protocols of Zion. A book they won't let you read in Canada, you know? Mr. you have the medicines that you've received uh, helped you at all? They make the symptoms worse. You guys only have a 10% recovery rate with your drugs, while Dr. Hoffer had a 90, 80 to 90% recovery rate. Because people were stronger, they could, make, they could get out of the rat race maze of an unending debt. You, you all live in a delusion that you can pay your debts, especially Mr. Trudeau, our Prime Minister, that he can pay his trillion dollar debt. The, okay. de the debt well, doesn't one exist. Of the things that we, one of the things that uh, Dr. Natarajan referred to was this belief that you had at one time that there were Satanists in this uh, Portuguese church that you had to I can read you the article. I, I can read you the article of the, the six men charged six weeks later. Vancouver. No, did, you, did you indeed go to that church with gasoline? I just, I just made a little fire in the glass. You need to call the firefighters because the police are members of the Fraternal Order of Police. They're called, you know, FOP. It's like uh, it's, they wouldn't come. They'd put me on hold, you know. They wouldn't come to rescue the church, but the firefighters would attract the flames like a moth. They come right away. And that's why the six priests were excommunicated from the church. It's on the internet, on the regular news, mainstream media. I can read it to you if you want. No, no, but my question to you is, did you go there with gasoline to try and start a fire at that church? It was on a glass ceiling, because the church has a glass ceiling for females. And glass can't burn no, with no, glass can't burn with metal. You need to put it in a furnace, like a glass blower. I took metal shop in high school. I know exactly what fire can do. And the World Trade Center can't collapse from a fire, especially number seven building, fifty story tall Solomon Brothers. It can't collapse from a small did, fire. Did you, Defies physics. Did you go did you go there with gasoline and with the intention of starting a fire? The police wouldn't answer my call. They put me on hold, they wouldn't come. What was I supposed to do? So you went there with gasoline to start a fire? To call the firefighters. And how far did you get in starting the fire? It was a minor fire, you know. It didn't even didn't even 